Hi everyone, Rainy Bastarash here, and today I'm going to teach you my perfect memory hack. In this hack, I'm going to show you how to memorize, in this one, up to 24 items in any order in just minutes. Now, this hack can be used to memorize an awful lot more than 24. In fact, I once used it to help a high school student to memorize 200 definitions on government. And by the time we finished, it took me about two hours to go through the entire exercise for 200 items. But by the time we finished, she was able to recall all 200 items in order, forwards, backwards, and even sporadically. If I said, what was number 57, she'd tell me. What was number 123, she'd be able to tell me. So, I mean, it's a really amazing technique. So I'd like you to try it with me right now. We're going to memorize just 10 items at random because we're limited for time. And I want to show you how it works, how easy it will work for even you. And you'll be able to know these afterwards, forwards and backwards. Now, just so you know, if you want to remember a lot more, if you want to memorize a lot more items, there are other techniques you can use because we're going to be using the alphabet, which I'm going to use the first 10 letters, so A to J. But if you use all 24 letters, again, you have 24 items. Or there's other ways of getting these standard points. That's what I'm using the alphabet for. So you can get as many items as you like. Now, the reason I'm using the alphabet, it's like creating file folders in your head. So just like a file cabinet, I'm going to show you how to file different things. So this is a great mind hack. Now, we use the alphabet because you know that. Uh, you can use numbers because you know the numbers. There are things that are always there that you'll remember without having to think too hard. You can use items in your house. Choose five items from each room in your house. So if you have 10 rooms, there's 50 file folders or 50 reference points you can use to memorize 50 different definitions. So you can use whatever you like. Before we go too far with this exercise, I'm going to give you all 10 items right now, and I want you to try to memorize them without using this exercise at all, because I want to have a point of reference at the end. So I'm going to give you all 10 definitions, and then I'm going to test you on them to see how many you can remember without using this exercise. Because you may get four or five of them now, and if you get 10 of them later, you'll see there's a big difference. Or some people only get two of them at the beginning, and they might remember eight at the end. So I just want to do this as a point of reference. So, I'm going to tell them to you, then I'm going to have you write it down the second time. So here we go. The first one is teddy bear. Number two is desk. Number three, microphone. Four, water bottle. Five, office chair. Six is orange juice. Seven, stapler. Eight, trash can. Nine is computer. And ten is pencil. Now get your piece of paper. I want you to write them down as I give you the numbers. I want to see how many you remember in what order. And uh, I'll give you the order of the answers at the end so you can compare with both exercises, okay? So what's your first one? Don't worry if you don't get many right because this is without doing the exercise. What was number one? I write it down. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Getting a little tougher. Number six. Don't worry if you don't remember them. Or if you do, that's great. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. And number 10. So look at what you did. If you want, you could put 40%, 20%, 100%. And, but put that paper somewhere else for this next exercise. Okay, as I'm doing the exercise, I don't want you to look at the answers. So put it upside down. Be honest so you don't see them. And get a different piece of paper 
for when I test you after the exercise. I don't want you to look at this and so it doesn't taint your answers. And when you're all done, you can compare both, just trying to memorize it when I gave them to you, and after the exercise to see how you did. Okay, let's move on. So here's how it's going to work. Think of A through J. We're going to start with the letter A, and what I want you to do is I want you to think of an animal that starts with the letter A. I mean, I could tell you one, but I want you to try to think of it on your own. If you can't think of it, I'll give you an idea in a minute. But think of an animal, first one that comes to mind, with the letter A. Okay, if you haven't thought of one, alligator, so I, I should have said animal, amphibian, so you know any kind of live, moving, squiggly, heart-beating thing. Okay, the letter B. What's an animal that starts with the letter B? That should be a simple one, so I'm not going to just tell you mine, so that way, uh, if you do it on your own, rather than me telling you, it's going to come to your memory a lot easier later on. Now, these aren't the things we're memorizing. These are just the file folders we're setting up. Think of an animal that starts with the letter C. The letter D. Now when you're doing these with someone else, you could even write these down so you remember as you go back through the list. You might even want to write them down for yourself. The letter E. That's still a pretty easy one. An animal that starts with the letter E. An animal that starts with the letter F. Think of an animal that starts with the letter G. That's still a pretty easy one, okay. One that starts with the letter H. An animal or a squiggly thing that starts with the letter I. and one that starts with the letter J. That might be a little bit more difficult one, but think of it, the letter J. Now, if you don't get them all right away, you can listen to this video and try it again later on, but I'm gonna move on just so we can you know, keep up with the exercise. What I wanna do is I wanna go through them. Don't look at your paper if you wrote it down. I wanna go through them, I'm gonna say the letter and you tell me the animal, okay? What was the one you chose for the letter A? The letter B. The letter C. They should be coming to you quicker and quicker. The letter D. E. F. G. What animal started with the letter H? I. And J. Now, if you got all 10 of those a second time, you've set up your file folders, okay? You have that in there, and that's what you need to be able to memorize other things. Now, I'm going to just use 10 things, but these file folders you're using right now, you can memorize 10 things today, 10 different things tomorrow, 10 different things as often as you like using the same file folders, okay? So we're going to do it just with these. Now, I'm going to come up with 10 things at random. And as I say each thing that I want you to memorize, what I want you to do is I want you to make a sentence or make a picture of the animal for that letter and the item I'm giving you, okay? So let me use an example not on this list so I don't mess you up. Let's choose the letter S as an example. So S, I would think snake. So that's my file folder. And let's say the word I wanted to use was magic marker. Okay, so here's, here's what we're going to do, magic marker. So how do I memorize the word magic marker using the letter S? I could say something like, a snake was slithering on my desk. He came right beside my magic marker, and he looked at it, he looked at it and said, hey, why are you so stiff? Loosen up a bit. Okay, so it's a picture. It's kind of stupid, but you're going to remember. Later on when I say, Letter S, you're going to think snake. Why are you so stiff? Magic marker, you know. Or you might look at it and say, so you're a magical snake, aren't you? Magic marker, you see what I mean? So find something with the item that's kind of funny. And that's what we're going to do. So that's pretty simple. Let's go ahead and start out. So the letter A, it's going to be teddy bear. So whatever the animal was that started with an A, 
Think of something funny, something cartoonish, something bigger than life having to do with a teddy bear. What would the letter A relate to a teddy bear with? Or what would he do or think of or whatever? So I'm going to give you a moment. A, your animal, make something funny, something cartoonish with a teddy bear. Letter B, think of your animal. You can just let go of A right now. Think of your animal for letter B. And the word you want to remember and put in a picture with them or a sentence with them is desk. A desk, like the one I'm sitting at right here. Great. Letter C, what was your animal for letter C? Microphone. Put them with a microphone. What would that be like? Make it a funny picture. If it's something that's really normal or ordinary, it's going to be hard to remember. Something that's funny or outlandish will be easier to remember. The letter D. What was your, not, your animal for the letter D? And the word is water bottle. Okay, just a simple plastic water bottle that you drink from. The letter E, what animal started with the letter E? And make some kind of picture, cartoonish, strange picture with the word office chair. Office chair. The letter F, what was the animal that started with F? Orange juice is the word. You need to make a picture of your animal with orange juice. The letter G. What was your animal for G? And the word is stapler. Stapler. I just like saying that word. Stapler. <laughs> so think of something with that. The letter H. What animal started with an H? And you need to put it in a sentence with trash can. You can tell these are all things around my office, right? Trash can. I said they were random. Number nine, or letter I, what animal started with an I? Computer. You knew that was coming. Computer. And finally, J. Pencil. Use the word pencil with the animal that started with the letter J. Great, so now you filed all these different random items with your 10 file folders in your mind. Let's see how well it worked, okay? What I want to do is I would like you to get a piece of paper, put it someplace, and I want you to write down, as I give you the letters, write down the item that I told you. You don't have to worry about the animal. Just write down the item, the random item that you memorize, and we're going to see how many you got. Ready? Let's start with A. What was the thing that I told you to memorize with A? Not the animal, just the item. B. Think of your animal. What was it doing? Where did you put them? What's the item for B? C. D. What was the animal that started with D and what was the item? E. How 
How about F? Animal that started with F, what was the item that you had to memorize? G. H. What was the animal and item that went with H? Write down the item. I. The letter I. Think of the animal. And what was the item? And J. Think of the animal and write down the item. Now I went fairly quick going through these 10, okay? And I understand that, but I'm doing it on the video and without seeing you, I don't know how long you're taking to think. Some of you are probably waiting for me to finish. Some of you are like, oh, that's not enough time. So when you're doing this on your own, take the time you need. The more outlandish the picture, the better it's going to look. So I'm going to put the all the different items up, and I want you to write down how many you got right, okay? So I'm going to put the item up here on screen. So A through J, all the different items. You count how many you got, and I'd like you to write in the comments at the bottom of this exercise how many you got right. It'd be interesting to see, and everybody else will love to see. You can try it again on your own, take your time, you could pause it, and there's no reason why you can't pause my video between each one, and try it on your own and see how you do. I hope you enjoyed the exercise. I'd like to thank you for watching, and have a spectacular day.